What's up, Dupe City fam? Welcome back to the Unmagical series by Dupe City Co. I'm so excited for today's video because in it, we spill all the tea. Let me reiterate that no tea will be left unspilled by the end of this video. Now, I wasn't going to do this video so soon. Originally, it was going to be a grand finale of sorts. I felt compelled to share it with all of you lovely people just a little sooner than planned. What am I talking about, you ask? Well, in today's video, we share with you all the suppliers from which you can purchase every Magic Candle Company slash Disney fragrance oil for just a fraction of the cost. It's true, fam. The MCC does not create their own Disney fragrances. Now, I know this may be a shock to some of you, and you may even need some time to process this information. So let's have a moment of silence while the images of the MCC clad in their long white lab coats, feverishly mixing beakers of fragrance solution, dies in your mind forever. So how this video will be structured is that we'll show you the fragrance oil and tell you where to buy it and for how much. And also we'll let you know which fragrance the MCC uses it for. As always, all the supplier's information will be linked in the description box below for you to quick reference. And if you're interested in learning how to make the exact same products the MCC does, well, you can check out any of my video tutorials because we show you how to DIY exact duplicates such as candles, wax melts, room sprays, bath salts, and more. Also, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe below to be notified every time we crank out a new Disney DIY, which is actually a few times a week. Oh, and as a reminder, I must add that I'm in no way affiliated with Magic Candle, and I make no profit from any of the products that I recreate. Okay, well, some of you, okay, many of you, might be wondering how exactly I came across all the fragrances that Magic Candle uses. Well, I have to say they made it pretty easy. A quick search of their website showed that they have a pretty bad habit of copying their fragrance descriptions straight from the supplier's website. I mean, word for word. So the majority of the fragrances I found just by copying and pasting into Google. The rest just comes from me being an experienced candle maker. I was able to put the scent notes together and compare them to the reviews on both sites. And it kind of just led me to the obvious choice. Now, also, there are just a handful of suppliers that the MCC frequently purchases their oils from, which also made it even easier because I was able to narrow it down. It's not magic, it's just science. So without further ado, let's get started. The first fragrance is Pirate Life. It's also known as High Tide and it's sold by Candle Science. You can buy one ounce for $2.65. Does this fragrance make a good Pirates of the Caribbean scent? It could. It's a new aged ocean scent with a lot of sea salt and a lot of florals. It's really pretty. Next, we have Polynesian, also known as Polynesian Hibiscus. You can purchase this from Wellington Fragrance for about $1.80 for a half ounce. This is an amazing Polynesian fragrance and it works wonderful as the Polynesian scent. Next we have Haunted or rather Cedarwood Vanilla from the Candlemaker store. You can get one ounce for $2.95. Does this make a good scent for Haunted? Well, I think it could be kicked up a few notches to make it better. It's okay. But when I reviewed it, I either got the vanilla or the Cedarwood, never both as a good mixture. The next fragrance is Flying Over Fiji or subsequently Banshee Flight. This is available at Candle Science for $2.65 for one ounce. Is it a great scent for Flying Over Fiji? Nope. There's too much melon in it. You don't get melon when you're actually on the Soarin' Ride. Next we have Flying Over Orange Groves. This scent is represented by Tangerine Dreams from Nature's Garden. You can buy this fragrance for $3.25 for one ounce. Does it make a great flying over orange grove scent? Well, it's tangerine, but it's pretty. Next, we have Pineapple Whip, which is also sold as Pineapple Whip Type from Just Scent. This fragrance is $3.25 for one ounce. Does it make a great Pineapple Whip scent? Well, it is pineapple. 
Next up, we have the featured lobby scents from the Contemporary, the Beach Resort, the Yacht Resort, and the Floridian. The fragrance is Green Clover and Aloe, and you can buy it from the Flaming Candle for $2.85 for one ounce. This scent is pretty standard, and it's going to smell the same pretty much no matter where you get it. Now, Wilderness Resort confused me for a little because we have a lot of tobacco scents floating around in the maker world. All the suppliers seem to have one. After thinking it was Dude from Nature's Garden, I finally settled on Leather and Tobacco from Just Scent. You can get one ounce for $3.25. Next up is Little Old Christmas Shop from the Magic Kingdom. This is represented with Aztec's Christmas Tree Farm. You can get one ounce for $2.50. Does it smell like the shop? Not exactly, but it's still a nice fragrance. Next is a fragrance I believe could possibly be both Rome Burning and Villains. This is a great fireplace campfire fragrance where you get a lot of charred cedar. Smells just like Spaceship Earth and Rome Burning. However, I think it's a waste of scent if it is the Villains fragrance. That scent is so playful and fun, it could be done a lot better. You can buy the Fireplace Fragrance from Nature's Garden for $2.85. Next we have the Confectionery Fragrance, also known as Raspberry Sugar from Just Scent. You can buy one ounce for $3.25. It's a very light scent, so I really can't say it's great for the Confectionery. However, it's fun. Following the Confectionery is the Tiki Terrace Fragrance, also from Just Scent. It's called Tiki Beaches, and you can buy one ounce for $3.25. Does this make a good Tiki Hut fragrance? This one got a thumbs down for me. It smelled too much like suntan lotion. Next up, we have Mouse Waffles, a fragrance better known as Buttered Maple Syrup from Just Scent. Once again, this is $3.25 an ounce. And as far as maple syrup fragrances go, this is probably one of the better ones. Next, we have Walter's Office. The fragrance here could be a few things, but due to the scent notes and reviews, I settled on tobacco from Aztec Candle. If this fragrance isn't tobacco from Aztec, it should be. This is such a great scent and would make a really good waltz office. You can buy this amazing tobacco fragrance from Aztec for $2.50 for one ounce. Next, we have Bakery, which is a yellow cake fragrance, probably with buttercream frosting. This scent could be from anywhere. It's a pretty basic scent. Now, cake fragrances seem to be pretty standard in the maker world. We like cake from Candle Science, and that is $2.65 for one ounce. Next, we have the Orleans fragrance, which is actually called Cotton and Blossoms, and you can get it from Nature's Garden for $2.99 for one ounce. Does this make a good fragrance for Port Orleans? It's pretty enough, but does it smell exactly like it? I don't think so. And next we have the churro fragrance, which is also known as cinnamon churro, and it's from a company called Save on Scents. Now Save on Scents has some pretty unique pricing structure going on. One ounce of this fragrance starts as low as $4.68. I really don't know why, and it's oddly specific. Does it make a good churro fragrance? Well, there's not a lot of churro fragrances out there in the maker world, so you get what you get, and you don't complain. Following churro is the Terror fragrance, supposed to represent Tower of Terror, and that actually is called Library, and it's from Candle Science. You can buy one ounce of Library from $2.65. Now, does it smell like an old hotel lobby? Not really. Does it smell like old books? Yes, yes it does. Next is the Castaway Cruise fragrance, better known as Sea Salt and Orchid from Candle Science. You can buy one ounce for $2.65. This is a really beautiful spa scent, so it works. But since Castaway Cruise doesn't have an actual scent, it's really just subjective. Next is African Lodge with its distinct sandalwood vanilla fragrance. Now there are so many sandalwood variations in the maker world. I'm going to give you my favorite sandalwood vanilla fragrance. May or may not be the one that Magic Candle uses, but it's from the Flaming Candle and you can purchase it for $2.49 for one ounce. Next up is Norway, which is just a variation of the actual fragrance that they sell at Norway. That fragrance is Layla type. I have to say that all of Disney, this is my least favorite fragrance. And whenever we're in Norway, I hold my breath for as long as possible. That's all I have to say about that. 
Next up, we have the Lobby Fragrance from Caribbean Resort. This is represented by Coconut Craziness from Nature's Garden. You can purchase a one ounce fragrance from Nature's Garden for $2.85. Is this a good fragrance for the Caribbean Resort? As I say with all of the fragrances, it's okay. It's good enough. It's enough to remind somebody of Disney. Next up is the Century fragrance that is actually just green tea and lemongrass. You can get this from Candle Science for $2.65 an ounce. And since green tea and lemongrass is the actual scent that Disney uses in Pop Century Lobby, it does remind you of Disney. Next, we have the Pixie Dust fragrance, which I was surprised to learn smells just like pixie sticks. I wasn't expecting that. You can get your own Pixie Dust fragrance from Just Scent for $3.25 an ounce. Since Pixie Dust is a subjective scent, you can just enjoy it for what it is. For the Florida Christmas and Haunted Holiday fragrance, we have Buttery Gingerbread by Just Scent. Now, you can't get this in one ounce quantities, but they do sell it for $16.95 for 16 ounces. As for whether the fragrance fits, well, Haunted Holiday and Florida Christmas are all subjective fragrances anyway. So it's a great fragrance for anything really. Next up is Mind Train, and I have it represented here by the fragrance called Woods and Earth by the Flaming Candle Company. You can get one ounce for $2.49. Is this the correct fragrance? I honestly don't know, but it should be based on the scent descriptions. This fragrance would be a perfect fragrance for Mind Train, just based off the scent notes alone. You're not going to go wrong. It's a fabulous, earthy, woody scent. And here we have Ice Cream Parlor, represented by Vanilla Sugar Waffle Cone from Just Scent. Vanilla Sugar Waffle Cone is $2.95 for one ounce. It's a fabulous waffle cone fragrance that I think represents the ice cream parlor perfectly. Next, we have the animation fragrance that is supposed to represent the art of animation lobby. This fragrance is called Apricot Mango and it's sold by Save on Scents. You can buy a one ounce bottle for $3.66. It's a pleasant fragrance, but it didn't remind me too much of art of animation. Maybe it just needs to be in a candle form. Next up is Sea Salt and H2O. You can get this at Nature's Garden and it's called Sea Salt and Lotus. One ounce is $2.85. Now, is this a great scent to replicate Disney's H2O spa scents? As far as the spa scent goes, it's okay. Up next is Pumpkin King. Now, this scent is actually called Pleasingly Pumpkin and it's another one you can get from Nature's Garden. For one ounce, you're gonna pay $2.85. Now, because Pumpkin King is a subjective scent, it really depends on whether or not you like pumpkin scents. Moving forward, we have another subjective scent called Autumn on Main Street. This is actually Fallen Leaves, and it is a fragrance by Candle Science. You can get one ounce for $2.65. Now, this happens to be one of my absolute favorite fragrances ever. It's a wonderful fall scent. Now, it would work as a great Autumn on Main Street if Florida had more than just two seasons. Next, we have Soarin' Over Africa being represented here by Fresh Cut Grass from Candle Science. You can get one ounce for $2.65. However, I think this is a terrible option for Soaring Over Africa. The Savannah does not smell like fresh cut grass. The Savannah smells like dirt and earth. A better alternative is Fresh Outdoors from Nature's Garden. You get earth, you get a little bit of grass, you get dirt. You get a better scent that outperforms simple fresh cut grass every time. Next, we have Philharmonic Pie, which is actually just poison pie from Nature's Garden. You can get a one ounce bottle for $2.85. Now this pie is a great fragrance. It kind of smells like blueberry, it kind of smells like, I don't know, apple, cherry, you name it, it smells like it. It's truly really just a great mixture of pie scents. The next fragrance is poison apple, which is actually just candied apple from Candle Science. You can buy an ounce for $2.65. Now, I think there was a missed opportunity here. When I hear poison apple, I want a little bite to it. This candied apple scent is so pleasant, so amazing. Throw a little absinthe in, throw something in that's off-putting to kind of give it a kick, a little twist. That was really just a missed opportunity, like I said, um, but there's always hope for the future. Up next is Christmas Parade, which is actually just a candy cane scent from Nature's Garden. You can get one ounce for $2.85 and it's really just a pleasant peppermint scent. Following that is Flying Over India, which is a fragrance that is actually called 
English Garden from Candle Science. You can buy one ounce of this fragrance for $2.65. However, on a personal note, I feel like I should be offended for an entire subcontinent of people whose beautiful culture deserves better representation than a scent called English Garden. There are so many more fabulous Indian fragrances out there that are more spot on as to the actual Soren over India fragrance. But there's nothing good to say about this fragrance. Up next is French Riviera, which is actually a dupe of the fragrance used in the lobby called Seaside Getaway Type. It's sold by the Candlemaker store for $2.95 an ounce. Seeing as this is an actual representation of a lobby smell at the Riviera, this is a great scent. The next fragrance is a Jungle Boat, and that is actually Decayed Rainforest from Save On Scents. You can purchase this fragrance starting at $4.04 .04 an ounce. And we have Pirate Banana Rum. What the heck is this scent? Can we just please pretend it doesn't exist? Because somebody's sniffer is obviously broken. I hate to break it to you, but the smell on the Pirate's Ride is not banana rum. This fragrance is so off. However, it's a nice banana fragrance. It kind of reminds me of banana runts soaked overnight in cream soda. I don't know why, but that's just a fabulous scent. But is it the Pirate's Ride scent? No, no, it's not. Now, because banana rum isn't an actual thing, this fragrance is a little hard to pin down. It could be Aladdin's Abu Banana from Just Scent, which is $2.95 for one ounce, or you could try a banana scent from Nature's Garden called Banana Foster for $2.85. Both are goodish enough, but Banana Foster smells a little bit more like caramel. Space Coaster is next, and that's a save on scent fragrance called The Scent of Space. You can buy one pound of Scent of Space for $32.94. Yep, that's a lot for a pretty grody fragrance. However, I did contact Save on Scents and ask them to sell me a smaller quantity. They got back to me within a week and agreed to do so. So I suggest if you want this fragrance, you do the same if you're interested. To me, the scent of space is just nasty straight out of the bottle, but that's just my opinion. Though I have to say the scent has grown on me over the last few months. And by grown on me, I mean I no longer gag when I open the container. I still hate it though, and sorry about that mental image. Up next is Christmas Down Main Street, which is the fragrance Sugar Cookies by Just Scent, starting at $2.95 for one ounce. Now, Just Scent has a few options for sugar cookies, and all of them are amazing, so just pick the one that sounds the best. You're not going to be disappointed. And we have the gray stuff, and that fragrance is Cookies and Cream from Just Scent. This is another fragrance I'm not too sure about. You can buy one ounce for $2.95. However, the best fragrance oil I found so far to replicate this stuff is actually an Oreo cookie fragrance from Virginia Candle Supply. It's hands down the best. Following that is the Wilderness Campground scent, and it goes by the name of Walk in the Woods, and it's by Aztec. You can get one ounce of this fragrance for $2.50. It's a great fragrance and one of the cheaper ones that I've seen. Vero Beach is next and it is Orange Blossom from Candle Signs. You can buy one ounce for $2.65. Since I'm highly allergic to this fragrance, I can't really review it, but I do know that many, many people love it. Next up is Philharmonic Champagne, and this scent is actually pomegranate champagne from Nature's Garden. You can get this for $2.85 for one ounce. However, I do feel a better champagne fragrance for the attraction would be Strawberry Champagne from Wellington Candle. Now we have a popcorn stand, which I do have to say that popcorn in general in the maker world is pretty basic. It's a great scent, but everybody has their own version of it, which is basically the same version of it, if that makes sense. So my favorite place to get the popcorn fragrance is the Flaming Candle. You can buy a one ounce for just $2.49. It's a true to life scent, but you're good getting it from anywhere really. As for Pinocchio's Village, that would be called Pistachio Pudding from Nature's Garden, and it cost $2.85 an ounce. To me, out of the bottle, this was a lighter fragrance. I never actually tried it in wax or as a room spray, but it's pleasant enough, and it could work for a subjective fragrance. And following that is the scent of Japan, which is actually cherry blossom from Candle Science. You can get one ounce for $2.65. It's a pretty standard cherry blossom fragrance. It is beautiful, it's floral, um, and it's great for a subjective scent such as Japan.
And for Germany, we are going to go with caramel popcorn from Candle Science. You can get one ounce starting at $2.65. Now this next fragrance deserves a bit of a discussion. It was a little bit hard to figure this one out. Way to go, MCC. So let's talk about it for a moment. This is Polynesian Christmas, and I'll admit that I'm stumped on this one. However, based solely on the scent notes and the fragrance descriptions in the review, I'd say the absolute closest fragrance is one from Flaming Candle, and it's called Cypress and Berries. You can purchase one ounce of this for $2.49. This is actually just a really great fragrance. You get a little bit of the cypress. It's a Christmas scent that is disguised as not a Christmas scent. And for France, we have Creme Brulee by Candle Science. Now, this is a fantastic fragrance straight out of the bottle. You're gonna love it. It's a little caramely, a little sweet. You can get it for $2.65 for one ounce. Destino is actually a dupe called a Bright Sunshine Type. That stems from the actual fragrance that's used in the lobby. You can get one ounce for $2.95 from the Candlemaker store. One that I didn't believe I mentioned was Key West, which is Hawaiian suntan from Nature's Garden, $2.85 an ounce does smell like suntan lotion. The other one was the Californian. It's the same fragrance as the Wilderness, or at least it should be. It is in real life. But there we have it, fam. Thank you for sticking with me throughout this whole video when we went over all of the fragrances from Magic Candle Company. The links to all of the suppliers are down below in the description box, so please consider giving this video a like and subscribe. We're throwing out new content multiple times a week. We're showing you how to DIY the same products that Magic Candle Company sells for a fraction of the cost when you buy these supplies straight from the supplier. So thanks for watching, everybody.